Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week. Uh, but uh, my beautiful Leo, I also do, I just did actually your urgent spirit guide messages as well as your ancestor messages. If I leave both the links to those over here for you to check out at a later point, Leo. When it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Leo, because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Leo. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Leo, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it either way. And if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? Um, and then also, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra time to give this tarot reading a like and subscribe, uh, my beautiful Leo, because it does help out my tarot channel all, out a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra moment to support my tarot channel. So, one last thing though, before I get into this tarot reading for you this week, my beautiful Leo, is to remember that this tarot reading here, I only believe, or any of my readings, and in my personal opinion, any reading in general, are only here to give you some food for thought, some a perspective for you to consider. We're not here to make a decision in your life because it's your decision to make uh, and your life to live, not mine, not anyone else's. I don't, anyone else's. My goodness, I can't speak right now, Leo. Um, so, with all that in mind, let's get into your reading. I just pulled your moon oracle card for this week leo and it came flying out and new moon and aquarius bring love into the situation and so leo we'll definitely get into this we'll see how this correlates with these messages here but let's just get into the tarot aspect of everything for you so let me get these cards in order and then how do we want to start this looking at these cards oh now that I'm noticing it, uh, Leo, you have the Hermit card coming out twice for you. <laughs> so, I like this energy, though, just based off of what's coming. Leo, you are being pushed to, I mean, you are being pushed to reserve. Uh, reserve yourself a little bit. This is an energy, dare I say, this is almost like protecting your energy, Leo. I don't know what's going around in your outside energies or what influences are happening right now in your current space, but I keep on just hearing, protect your energy, protect your energy. So what does that exactly mean right it's almost like you know if we're going to consider bring love into the situation if you are dealing with some especially with this page of swords in here the, all these sort another night of uh, yeah i definitely feel like there's some type of communication that you need to protect yourself from leo whether that's you not engaging other people and engaging drama or you um yeah i just feel like it's that and i hear high road it's almost just like something happened in recently that puts you in the state leo something happened to you recently and it's almost like you're tossing with the idea of like being like is it worth talking about with this person or is it worth working through this is it worth uh, putting too much energy into this situation to figure it out and from what i'm getting right now leo there's just like this push of just like taking the high road and then just keeping it moving right don't don't take it personally right just you know it's just like you know, do whatever you need to do, uh, Leo, where it's just like you set the proper boundaries and where it's like you protect your own mental health, essentially something that I'm just getting. Protect your mental health and um, don't allow things to distract you from your goals at this time. I can't help but feel like Leo um this week and especially i feel like it's probably already started happening bleeding into from the last week for you leo of where it's like things are going to be starting to come these things are coming into your life that maybe their sole purpose isn't there to distract you but it is currently distracting you and takes energy and time away from the things that you actually want to put energy into things that you want to create i say this because of this knight of wands coming in for you this is you know and it seems kind of like counterintuitive energy initially right when you see those two hermit cards you're just like well velka the knight of wands usually is like talking about going forward with something but with these cards it's like reserved energy so it's like what's up but i feel like you're being asked to just like go inwards leo just because i feel like i called you aries earlier i hope i didn't i apologize if i did leo but it's like with this knight of wands there's this push leo in the sense of where it's like 
you kind of just get everything in order. You don't allow outside influences to affect your decisions, but you also just don't allow things to take too much time away from your goals, your ambitions. With this Knight of Wands, this is someone that is um, going forward towards their passion, but they have this Knight of Wands has to be careful not to turn into the Knight of Air or the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords is, I mean, I'll read off this card. It says, events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options, which, you know, goes hand in hand with the view things from a place of love, um, but also creative solutions. So, Leo, there's this sense here where it's like, I say you don't want to have this Knight of Wands turn into the Knight of Air or the Knight of Swords because it's like, I associate the Knight of Swords as that wishy-washy energy. The Knight of Swords wants to go forward and they do. They take cover a lot of ground in the time that they go forward, but just like how, um, maybe I'm alone here, Leo, but it's like, it's always during the middle of the night that I feel like my most motivated or my most inspired. It's during the night that I'm just like, oh yeah, whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna work out for three hours. I'm gonna do X amount, you know, like, and then when I wake up, it's just not the case at all, spoiler alert. And I kind of feel like that's what it is for you, Leo, where it's just like, you have good intentions, you wanna go forward, but then either something gets in your mind, right? And that's why you're being pushed to hermit, or it's just like distractions happen that take you away from, you know, that stops you in that forward movement and kind of like pulls you back, almost just like, um, you take five steps forward, but then you take two steps or three steps back. You're still going forward, but it's just like the process just takes a lot longer than what you would normally think, Leo, with these two fast forward cards, more so the Knight of Wands, that fast forward movement, right? So I brought up the Page of Wands, or Swords rather. Page of Swords is that communication. You know, I do feel like in terms of the um, communication this week, Leo, it's not definitely your week, it seems. And I don't know, I'm not sure if it's because of you or just because of the energies around you, but it just doesn't seem like communication is your friend this week. I can't help but feel like you'd be very easy to have misunderstandings with people, um, lack of communication with people in the sense of someone not explaining themselves properly. It's almost like not like everyone's functioning off of a different page or chapter and acting accordingly to that, but like no one is aware that there's no one like no one is aware that you're all on the different page right so it's just like better off rather than even engaging in this and like you know dealing with it it's just like you know what dodge this bullet right dodge this potential conflict that because i do hear conflict um whether it's within yourself or with other people dodge that bullet and just go inwards right now take this week leo to really just go um just be to yourself and go forward right just feed all your energy into your passions right and then we have the Five of Cups coming in for you, Leo. Now, this Five of Cups, this is a card of uh, uh, crying over spilled milk. So this is essentially what you're trying to avoid, Leo, is you don't want to be put in a situation where it's like you are crying over spilled milk, where you take something personally that someone did. And then because when you do, that's when you start putting all your energy into that, right? This individual is just focusing, like can't help but just constantly look down at this. Anytime this individual looks at a cup, all they can think about is those cups that spilled. And that just, you know, it takes away from their projects, right? You just, you, there's just like this, it's an energy sink. It's a time sink, it's a mental sink. And it just is, I don't see it providing anything of value to you at this point. It feels like the best thing that you could do during this time, Leo, is just to be by yourself. Um, is to just be in your own company. So, very good cards, interesting cards to have for your starting spread. Now let's start getting into the specifics of things. Let's start pulling some cards um, for my Leos that are interested in hearing about their career and financial situation now. <clears throat> what is going on with my Leos and their financial and work situation at this current week? Are we taking these? Yeah, I guess we are. All right. So, Leo, we have the Five of Wands, the Wheel card, the Ace of Swords, Five of Cups, and then the Death card. Honey, uh, how are we going to break this down? Give me a moment, Leo, while I, like, get these in proper order. Now, Leo, I am going to be honest here. I sense a transition. I sense transition, like, it may not be this week, um, but I feel like things are starting to uh, 
the gears are starting to turn with this wheel card motion is starting to happen in terms of some type of transition happening um, i keep speaking of transitions because of this death card now with this i don't feel like it's immediate right we're not seeing a tower card we're not seeing a tower card in here so there's no tower moment but i do feel like during your work life this week or during your just like your overall finances there does seem to be this sense of where you're overcoming something but this transition happens because of a five of wands moment now this five of wands is a card of um conflict it is a card of where it's just like a almost think of it like just like a block in the road or just like um a detour almost so with this it's almost just like if you're in your workplace maybe just this week um your boss or just like your people that you work with is just going to be an extremely challenging week but I feel like there's something that's coming in here that's putting you to the test in sense of being like, how much can we push Leo, right? How much can we push Leo in regards to something with their work situation that finally gets them to go? It's just like, you know what? Enough's enough, right? And you're cutting something out. Um, but it's a good thing though, right? I know these two cards, this Five of Wands and this Death card can seem initially pretty spooky, Leo, because they kind of are spooky cards when they're just by themselves. But it's with these other cards that make that change this message entirely and make it so much better because it's like with that wheel of fortune turning um i do feel like it's turning in your favor so it's all in the name like yeah you're going through some transitions that may not be pleasant to initially experience but i mean what things are always initially uh, pleasant to experience on all things right when you first learn a bike it's really not a pleasant experience when you're busting your ass <laughs> constantly right but once you go through that process then once you learn how to ride that bike it's like freedom right and i feel like that's what happens with this five of cups it, this is just this sense here I and mean, you get the five of cups twice actually right it's in your general spread and this is constant again where it's just like something happening in your work situation that really just like could take a lot of your energy but it's just like you can't it's, it's like a glaring problem it's like an elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about but you're having to deal with it constantly it's just taking up all your energy i feel like it's all in the name of like challenging you leo i just keep on hearing challenge i don't know what this is challenging you about and it's challenging you challenging you into um putting up better boundaries with people in your workplace or challenging you in the sense of being like asking for more and being like you know what i can't do this job for the rest of my life i have to like start thinking about other things start thinking of alternatives that you can do leo right and i think you're doing that because of this ace of swords ace of swords comes in where it's just like brilliant new ideas and all that so i just do get this sense leo in regards to your work situation and your finances you're going to be dealing with one more obstacle one more obstacle leo but then after that obstacle, it does seem to be like, that's when free, it's like freedom after the fact. But let's pull some clarifiers. We pulled a lot of tarot cards, uh, starting cards for that. So it may not even be necessary, but let's see. Let's see here. Eight of cups. Yeah, this does seem to be challenging you in the sense of like going, like this is my favorite card in the sense I always say it's like going, the card of going to bigger and better waters leo so definitely that is the challenge for you where it's just like challenging you and being like oh let's see if leo is willing to ask for more let's see if will if leo is willing to uh value them put a higher price point on themselves essentially seven of pentacles with the eight of wands yeah this is just literally challenging you leo in the sense of where it's just like how like trying to show you how tough you are and trying to challenge you in the sense of being like okay like let's see if we can push leo into tapping into a little bit more of themselves right let's see if we can you know see if we can make leo do just a couple more reps and then after we tell that leo that we're going to do a couple more reps after that second rep we're going to throw in another one right i do get this set but it's on the name of you getting more strong right when you do more reps you get stronger during those reps honey it may <laughs> you're going to be feeling that burn but seven of pentacles is you're growing something you're, this is for the long term it may seem spooky at first right it may seem spooky to go into that new journey with the eight of cups but it, you're thinking in the long term so it's like um again i don't see it immediately happening this week but i do get the sense that like things are going to start shifting like there's going to be subtle things 
not so subtle things um in your life in your work life that start you know start putting um giving you detours right you're gonna start getting that sense of being like mm, should i transition you're gonna start having these things are gonna start happening where it's just like you start having the thought of having that eight of cups moment leo so now let's get into my leo's social situations and when i say social situations leo it doesn't just mean love um it could be love from soulmate twin flame business family social situations you socialize with them that's what it could be about right so the cards i pulled eight of discs six of swords two of cups and the star card mm, i like this though i like this it started out a little bit rough with that six of swords i'm like mm, uh, actually these are all pretty good cards now that i'm thinking about it because it's like i see I see you making a deal with uh, someone. I see dealings happening. I see some type of collaboration, some type of exchange happening. Because with the six, I mean, the imagery in itself, the six of swords, this, this looks like some pretty sus individuals, right? But we're going to ignore that part. It does seem to be like, these two cards right here seems to be like an exchange, right? Two cups, I mean, two cups is such a good card, right? When it comes to this, it does seem to be speaking on some type of person where very much so tip for tap. Um, eight of discs as well. This could be shaping up into a, into a sense of like mentorship as well in some type of weird way, um, Leo, because with this eight of discs, it is talking about learning about something. So it's just like, to me, it's almost just like uh, someone taking someone else under their wing to learn about them, um, to learn more on the name of the star moment, that wish fulfillment card. Uh, but it's interesting in this. I mean, there's more to this story though i know that much so let's see <clears throat> let's see what other cards are coming in what is this uh, what is this exchange about actually i want to know that wheel of fortune again coming in for you three of swords as well hmm okay so the wheel of fortune and this three of swords and this is what i was kind of getting before when i first saw this five, six of swords i was just like at first i was just i can't i could like my first instinct was just like oh like someone's come like i th i instantly got the impression where it was just like i was tapping into an energy of like two people who just got out of a fight or who aren't in speaking terms and the sphere of swords is confirming that to me now the wheel of fortune adaptation you know this is the card like you had this card as well coming out for you you have a lot of cards following you actually uh leo but with this wheel of fortune i just you, it's the sense of where it's like similar to how you have the wheel of also can we just appreciate leo how you have the wheel of fortune turning in your favor in all aspects of your life hello congrats on that but um yeah with this it's almost just like similar to your work situation i do feel like things are just it may not be this week that you do some type of collaborative thing with the person, uh, Leo, but, you know, maybe, like, this week you start uh, reconnecting with someone again, where it's just like, you know what, maybe I can't, you, maybe I can unblock this person, right? Maybe I can unblock them. And then the next week, uh, you're just like, you know what, maybe they learned from their mistakes, right? Maybe they learned from their mistakes, and you start messaging them, you know, with no set intention, Right. But it's through that messaging, then it's just like, you know what? Maybe we can do something, right? Whether that something is a deeper relationship, if it's romantic, or whether it's like a business thing, right? I am, there does seem to be just like this speak of like an exchange, some collaboration. Um, and I feel like it's like a progressive buildup of a thing. I don't feel like it's going to happen this week, but you just have a lot of, a lot of gears turning before you, uh, Leo. So it's just like, nothing too dramatic this week it seems but just like nothing flashy rather but it's just like every like all the gears are starting to turn and just like a machine like a well oiled well oiled machine when you only have one gear turning well i guess you can't really have a machine go with just one i guess maybe you could but um you know the more gears that are turning the uh, more well oiled gears that are turning the faster it will go right and i just feel like that's just your life in general where it just seems to be like your life is now starting to pick up in a really beautiful way so i like that let's get some final thoughts uh, are we taking this yeah we are so seven of wands i was i was i saw this as the back of the deck but i didn't pull it back then but now it's making its presence known so queen of swords following you <laughs> oh my gosh very interesting 
So we have that Queen of Swords, we have the Star card, we have the Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, and that Seven of Swords, or Seven of Wands. Now, Leo, this is pa painting out to be, I mean, these two cards right here, this is beautiful. This is Wish Fulfillment, this is Victory, Success, Fame, like this is the Public Recognition card, this is that Fame card. Um, you know, you had the star card as well. I think it was in your social situation. So it's kind of, yeah, it was. And it's like having your cake and eating it too. Both your social situations and your financial situations are all starting to pick up in a beautiful way. Um, seven of cups with the seven of wands. Choices are to be made though. Um, definitely, it's like a decision of, do you want to let this person come into your life? I, I mean, for me personally, I'll insert my bias here. Because I do get the sense with this Queen of Swords that you kind of want to have your guard up with them. I do just get this sense that, like, there's some type of collaborative, like, some person in your life that would provide some good value to your life if you were to do some type of exchange with them. So it's just like, be, you don't have to open up yourself all the way with the person, Leo, but um, be open to progression. Be open to, um, you know, just having, like, taking it day by day when it comes to a connection rather than give them a chance, right? If you have connected with this person before and you did fight with them, give them a chance because I do see something magical being able to come from this or an exchange happening that comes into your favor, right? With that Wheel of Fortune following you, honey, and that Star card, you really can't neglect that, so... All right, my beautiful Leo, that's the cards that I have for you for this General Tarot Weekly reading for you this week, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to let me know which cards called out to you in this reading. And then also, I would really appreciate it if you were to share my tarot readings with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Until next time, though, Leo, I love you so much.